piece that's about this big around. It's about like that. And it is significantly hot. I mean, really, really hot. So I, I don't take it out and about. I fixed it. I, you can fix these. All of these have been fixed with a Krylon. Okay, of course, that wipes out your alpha. You know, alpha, beta, gamma. Okay, the alpha won't hardly penetrate a piece of paper. You know, it, it will penetrate, but it's not much. The beta will go through a, you know, a couple of, a, a couple of thirty seconds of aluminum or something. The beta will go through. The gamma just goes right on through. Gamma doesn't even know we're here. It goes right on through us, right on through the walls, right on out in free space. Um, but to keep it from washing off and getting on your hands, I, I spray chlor, Krylon on it to keep it so it, the dust doesn't come free. So anyway. Um, okay, anybody have any questions about that? Okay, now we're going to move into the fun stuff. This is the, this is the part that I like. These are, um, these are, oh, I didn't show you. So I, I, I moved on too quick. This is a rock. I don't know if Leslie can hold this or not. This is a rock with water inside. Okay, now I don't know if, I don't know if, it, can you, can you get that if I bring it up real close? Yeah. Can you all see? Yeah, bring it up close. Bring it up right to the lens. Yes, yes, you can get that. Okay, can you see that water in yes, there? Yes, yes. Okay, it took me three flights, airplane flights, to get this one, okay? Because the air pressure differential, unless you carry it with you in the cabin, the pressure, air pressure will crack these things and the water comes out. And these are not cheap. And when you buy it from a reputable guy, he tells you right up front, if I ship this air, you're taking the risk. Well, I said, okay, sure, it's not going to break. Two rocks later, I said, okay, ship it ground, and I'll take a chance it'll get here. <laughs> but, uh, but can you all see that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, I've got another one that a gal just sent me. I, I, I flirt with these gals on the, on the internet a lot. And, uh, she sent me one. She said, I got one here. She said, I'll give it to you for a price of it, just a cheap one. And I said, okay. She said, I said, what is it? She said, well, she said, I'm not going to tell you. She said, I'll just send it to you. So she said, you'll be able to tell when you open it. So I open up the box and pick it up. It looks like a fish. It looks like it's shaped like a fish. It's got a mouth like a fish. It's got an eye like a fish. And it's about a third filled with water. So when you shake it like that, it looks like the fish is swimming. You know? It's really cool, yeah. I was going to bring that tonight, I forgot. But anyway, this is a type of sedimentary rock water. It was formed by the water. The water precipitated out these minerals. Okay? So, um, okay, now, back to where I was going to fix when I, I'm going to drop that thing and break it. Yeah. Okay, the fluorescent minerals, um, they glow in the dark. This is a really quick explanation, but what basically happens is uh, when you take a, a, a anything, even regular light, right now these rocks are actually fluorescent because some light is hitting the, the, the fluorescent material there, the atoms, and causing it to de-excite and turn into a, uh, give you a flash of light. But what happens is the, the color centers in the, is is I have a hard time with this because it's hard to explain, even to people that have been around it a lot. Take a look at it. Um, the, the outer electrons, when you hit, when you hit energy onto those outer electrons, it'll lift them up into a higher energy state. When you take that away, they de they decay back down to the, a ground state or to a lower state. To do that, it gives off the same energy, or some, most of the energy that it had coming in. So it, it drops back down and it gives off a photon of light. Now the color of that light is determined by how much energy was put into it and, and brought back down. Now why do we use a fluorescent light? Why do we use a fluorescent light to, to excite these? It's got a lot more energy. The ultraviolet has much more energy than the infrared or the white light. Okay, much more energy. So, and there's a difference between long wave and short wave. A lot of these material, uh, materials, even long wave, won't excite them. I mean, they'll be very, very weak fluorescence, if at all. Some of the stuff that they said, well, it doesn't fluoresce, I found it does. 
put them in a dark layer, put a, a, a microscope in it, under it, and then fluoresce them a little bit, and you'll see some. Even though they say it doesn't, it, it really does. So now we're going to kill these overhead lights. Will that work? Yeah. I had this little, uh, I had this little uh, black hood thing that we uh, that we had, uh, you know, here last time. Can you Let's see? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Can y'all see what's happening? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now this is short wave. Yeah. Okay, this is a short wave. You getting it? Good. Okay. See the color? Now, let's look at another piece. Uh, this is the one I use in the schools when I'm talking to the school kids. You can see the different colors on this. But look what happens when you get the light on. Okay? You don't even see the difference. See this greens up in here? In normal light, you don't even see that at all. So then we show the kids how, well, different, um, different, um, you know, different minerals have gotten in there over time and filled up these cavities. See the top? See all the greens? And, yeah. See? Yeah, this is, I call this one, the, this is the platypus or something, I forget. It, he, he looks like a platypus. Can you see the eyes up here and the big mouth, the big nose? Can you, are you getting any of it? Yeah, Gary? Put, yeah hold it right there. Yeah, do it and take the light away and then put it, bring it back and then bring the light in. Bring it in. Oh, great, great. Okay, great. now let me give you a safety lesson. I've got a lot of these here, and I'm going to uh, ask you when you, because I'm, I'm not going to hold them all up. But what, when we get done, I want you to come up and, and play. You know, use the lights and uh, and get them. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. This is one from up in uh, up in Franklin, New Jersey. There's a mine up there that has a, a great. See, can you see the greens up at the top? Yeah. Are you getting it, Gary? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now if we turn the, the, that off and turn this on, just like oh, wow. a regular piece of rock. See? Now, here is something that this, I, I always do this because of a safety factor. This is a UV light, same as those are. But this is not protected. Can you see the fluorescence? Can you see that? Okay, this particular light is does not have the filters on it, so it's being washed out by a lot of the white light. But if you if you poop, you can smell you can smell the ozone being generated by this light. This is a very powerful little light. I have to replace the batteries in it probably after one or two classes. But it, this will give you a sunburn. You have to be very careful. I got my th thumb burnt one time. I was talking. I can feel the heat, and I, I really don't want you playing with this if you don't know what you're doing up here. But if you are, you really want to feel the difference. You can run that thing over your thumb, and you can feel the heat coming off of it. Uh, Anyway, there's a lot of different, a lot of different kinds here. Okay, I don't think you guys can see. Here's another piece of the same stuff from Franklin. Can you see that one? Can you see the greens, the reds? Okay. Well, if you look really, really carefully in here, one place in here, there's a, there's a really unusual, and I don't know where it's at. It may have even come off by now. See, there's some flakes in the. See the flakes where it's coming yeah. off. Okay, so it might have come off, but there was a piece of real bright red almost, which is very rare. You don't see the red very often. But uh, anyway, you can come up here and look. Here's another one with the green bands. See that guy? Can you see him? See the so red? How do you find those kind of rocks? Do you I'm sorry? Right out and stay in the yes. Mm -hmm. Or you know what kind of mineral it, it is. You know, there's, there's two ways to do it. Uh, now, this is the one, this is, oh, this is another real favorite of mine. Look at this color. Okay. See that? Yeah. You see it? Very cool. Mm -hmm. See it? Yep. Okay. This is, um, this is halolite. I can't pronounce it. I have to always look at it. But this is called halolite opal. And that's, um, she won't let me have opal in the house. So this is not regular opal. I, I brought her a, a big opal home one time and the furnace broke, the pump broke. So she made me get rid of it. She made me give it to a girlfriend of hers. That was a very, very high dollar gift. She wouldn't have, she wouldn't let me have it in the house. We were out in Idaho, we were mining out there at the mine looking for some Spencer, Spencer Opal. 
found a bunch of it, had a beautiful piece like that. As soon as she found out it was in the house, she made me take it out and get off the property, go across the road and bury it <laughs> until I could find somebody to give it to. Her. But uh, any, anyway, yeah, I'm just going to leave these here. Uh, matter of fact, I'm just going to put this one away. You don't need to look at that. And you can play with some of these. Mm -hmm. Another thing is, and I don't have a piece that, that works, but uh, somewhere there are some of the radioactive. Can you see the glowing? Can you see that? That little bit of orange, I don't think you'll be able to get it with a camera. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you all see this middle one down at the bottom? Yeah. No. Okay, well, it's very faintly fluorescent. Okay, it's very, very faint. Um, you know, less but her and I are both, uh, we're both hazmat. I'm a level five and she's a level three. And we teach hazmat, we're both instructors. And we use Tide to, you know, that comes actually, it's a, there's a, a chemical in Tide and it, it fluoresces. And so we spread tide around everything. We're teaching these people how to decontaminate. So we, we hand it to them and we say, okay, now handle this very carefully. At the end of the class, we make everyone up come up and we search it with a light. <laughs> They've got it all. <laughs> they don't believe it. See if anybody's clothes show up fluorescent. What's that? I wonder if anybody's clothes show up fluorescent. Well. And the detergent. That one's pretty good, I think. Mean. I don't know, but if somebody has Tide on, you don't, no, we don't use Tide, you. anybody? Yeah. No? Yeah. Anyway. If you it's interesting, it'll light right up. It's interesting. Yeah. Okay, that's talking about radioactive, and that talks about fluorescent, and, um, and we, uh, uh, we're going to do the clicker. Take a pause there. What's that? A pause there. Here it is. What? You take a pause there or no? What? Do you want to pause there or no? No. no. Okay, this just shows you something different. Remember, I was telling you about the reds. Well, this is what you get. This is a pretty, pretty accurate picture. Okay, and and this, uh, you you really do get some of these that have this really vivid red in them. Okay, now we're going to talk about just a little bit about rocks in Florida, and here's. Uh, there's some uh, samples here. We'll turn the light back on since we're done with the fluorescent. Okay, this is a piece of phosphate, and this is a piece of limestone. Okay, both of these are from Florida. Okay, um, this piece, this piece of phosphate came from the Cross Florida Bark Canal, and this piece came from the Keys. This piece came from one of the limestone. Um, Limestone pits down in the Keys that came from, was it Key Largo? Is that what's from? Mm -hmm. Or Marathon? I mean, um, Alamorada. No, it's Key Largo. Key Largo, okay. Mm -hmm. That came, that, that one piece came from the, uh, you know, historically where they mined the limestone to build the, the, the uh, highway there, the Flagler line. Uh, anyway, this is, this is a pretty neat little chart. It's not a chart, it's a map. I keep getting my charts. We also teach water. And I get charts from the water mixed up with maps of the land. But this shows the um, the stuff where you've got limestone near the surface. Okay, and you know we're right over here in Brooksville in this area right here. So it's got a thin overburden, but it's there. And this is a moderately thick. And then this is where it's very thick. You get down here to Keys, and there's some of the places down there that's very very thick. And we'll talk about crinoids when I on Thursday. But Florida is where they turned up some crinoids when they were digging the channels down there for the um, for the big boats to come in. There was the old naval place. Um, but this is three, basically the three types of rock there are here. We don't have a lot of granite. You know, we don't have. There are some places we have a lot of limestone from caves. There's a cave. There's two or three caves right over here. Okay, um, that that you have. You can go back in there and you can actually see some of the. the different type of bedrock. There is rock here. I'm not saying there's not any rock, but there's usually a limestone covering. The stuff from the Florida Barge Canal is between 28 and 32 million years old. And when they, they dug that canal, they dug it up and turned it over. And they, they, um, they do dating. We're going to talk about that real briefly, and how they do dating, but let's talk about the metamorphic. Here, did I, here, here's the piece of marble. Okay, and this marble and that uh, and that limestone you have is basically the same material. The difference is that marble has been was down. Remember we had the chart, the showing up here, where the where it had the metamorphous thing. Well, that's where um, the marble comes from. The marble gets pushed down, 
gets compressed, hot, and pressure, then it, the land comes back up, it washes away, and the marble's left there. Now up in Georgia.